Hi everybody, this is Brian Downing and here today I'm going to take a new approach to trying to pump out emails, use machine learning, as well as taking advantage of all my social media including YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, maybe even Instagram and Twitter. So what I usually do when I go through my content is I like to learn as much as I can. And the way the world of trading and programming is expanding, it gets, gets more and more uh, time exhaustive to sift through this stuff. So I figured a new way to prioritize what you are looking at and what you want to know about via my email newsletter. As a result, one of the articles from today that was pretty hot was this one about James Simmons, one of the wealthiest billionaires uh, who's not only a math whiz, but also runs Renaissance Technologies. This article was put out um, by Bloomberg Newsweek, and um, he's worth quite a bit of money at $16 billion, uh, as well as he expanded on the history of his start in the world of high frequency trading, running a hedge fund, and the whole bit. There are quite a bit of uh, YouTube videos out there on uh, interviews that he's put on and conducted to go over his history. So in this particular article, he reveals some very unknown information uh, about uh, Renaissance technology and, and his view of politics and other things. So first, he got his PhD in math and the math became the secret sauce of Renaissance technology. Um, and that has nearly uh, well over uh, fifty thousand dollars in uh, in management so a lot of his guys are code breakers himself included uh, as well as linguistic professionals and so on and so forth um, so here uh, the secrets of Renaissance he's still pretty vague about it but um, this is what he says. He says the signals are faint. If they weren't, someone would have found them already. To make money, Simmons said, you have to put together a lot of signals and just keep working at it. Working at it. He says it twice, obviously. Other notes about Renaissance techn uh, success. He said it felt like we were running in front of a pack of wolves that were trying to catch up and devour us. Now, unless you don't know, uh, there's also some big news about his partner, um, Robert Mercer, who is a big supporter of Trump, and has caused a big fiasco between some of the management at Renaissance Technologies, as well as uh, this Mercer. So, he said he's not, he's not a big Trump supporter, um, but he did, did say this, we've had some doozies, but never at this caliber. Um, but they think that they'll bounce back um, without lasting damage. But the funny thing is, he says, only if we can get through these four years without dropping uh, an atomic bomb. So uh, the tip he gave uh, was to hire the greatest people you can, uh, and then give him a lot of authority. That's probably why he hangs on to a lot of his staff and they're very wealthy with the medallion fund that uh, only uh, his staff get access to that fund which is uh, quite successful. Um, so there's some interesting things that he uh, uh, pursues through his philanthropy uh, in-house research in the hard sciences using computer computational biology um, blah 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 he's very a big founder of math 
He rewards teachers throughout the New York uh, City system. Uh, and that's pretty well it. Not only that, but he also uh, talks about how he doesn't wear socks. Interesting. So one of the big areas that I've been focusing on my membership are uh, what I call the portfolio optimizer. I put this out about two weeks ago regarding various uh, source code examples that I've done source code walkthroughs for my members. Um, so one of the big things is uh, right now I've... Uh, got a variety of new videos here uh, with the results of a test that I've been running with Forex data with this portfolio optimizer um, and some other uh, historical videos as well. So not only that, but I've also included um, a source code walkthrough for my members and the video will be expiring, I believe, on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so you may want to get access to that right away. Uh, I do that just to keep people um, on their toes so that they actually do things. And I've run this and announced it about two days ago. So uh, it's a very important script because what it will do is it will uh, not only uh, forecast uh, the trading positions of <coughs> the more volatile uh, currency pairs uh, over, I don't know, minute data. Not only that, it will also give you five different ways of analyzing portfolios, and it will choose which is the optimal one with a combination of the currency pairs that will give you maximum profit. I use the Sortini... Sortino ratio for that and um, there's a set of combinations which I use to help set what the position uh, and weighting should be uh, for for the expected Sortino ratio. Now of course this is all theory but I'm hoping to um, prove that wrong by actually testing it in a simulated environment using uh, Dukas Copy and their J4X platform. So if this does pan out to be a valid test, I will definitely be using it for my own live trading pretty quickly. Um, not only that, but I'll also uh, put out the signals that the system will uh, trade. So I would definitely want to take advantage of taking a look at that source code walkthrough video if you're interested. I highly doubt I'll ever uh, talk about it again, um, but that will be a key ingredient to my potential secret sauce if everything turns out to be successful in my automated uh, trading. Uh, hopefully uh, this will help you out in this video and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Later.